Hello, so this is um, a tool I've made to, kind of, to send you GPT-generated emails daily to yourself or to whoever else you might want to send it to. I made it just for fun. I wasn't actually going to release it, but people on Facebook asked for it. Um, I made it and set it just to send my girlfriend a poem each day, um, again, just for the fun of it. Um, but a few people have asked for it, so here it is. Um, it can do it. It's two stages, really, two prompts to it to generate the email. You can see there, there's you would put your email or whoever's. Um, oh, I've got to make a copy of it first. I'm going to show you how to set it up too. I've logged in, in incognito, so this will look exactly the same as it will to you when you lock, um, click on the link as well. Um, I'm going to follow the, the same instructions that you'll need to follow to get it working. So the first thing you need to do is click File and make a copy. File, make a copy. Call it whatever you want. And then there you go. So it's made us a copy. Um, and now we're able to edit it and things like that. So you can see the prompt now. Um, there you would have a list of things for it to choose from. This is to make sure that the output is random each day instead of writing about the same things. Um, so this could, instead of a poem, this could be like a list of things that you want to learn about. So you might have a list of foreign words you want it to teach you um, or come up with its own. Um, or you might want uh, you know, bits of programming you want to teach you, or you may want a poem or an affirmation or something. Whatever you want, just, um, just let it choose one basically from random. So it just adds more variety to it. And then this takes that random thing that's chosen. So whatever's in B6, here's something Mike likes, um, write a rhyming two paragraph poem. So you would change that to whatever kind of output you want. Um, I imagine people probably try to use it to send out sales emails. So instead you write, you know, write a sales email about this. Um, and this is kind of the email template, so good morning Mike, and then it pulls in the content from C6, which is this, and then um, yeah, it will kind of regard at the end, so that will appear here when we run it. And then once it gets to this square, it sends the email and it clears all these cells, so you probably never see anything in there, it'll just appear, and then it'll disappear once it's sent the email, ready to send it again the next day. And basically, so back to the instructions, so we have to register with OpenAI, we haven't already, following this link, and you register with them, and... Um, yeah, ask for they'll give you an API key and they give you eighteen dollars free credit, which is quite a lot. And you'd probably never use that with this tool. I think you can write a couple of books with that. It's more than a hundred thousand words. Um, so you have to insert your API key here. Um, you have to put your email address in. Yeah. Um, so you put your email address in there, like it asks, and then. Um, it changes the prompts to match whatever you want, which we've already gone through. And then to test it works, um, I'll change the email to Google Mail. And then run it, give it so this is to test it. And the first time you test it, the first time you try and run it, it will give you loads of kind of scary error messages that Google likes to give. Um, so you have to approve these if you want to use it. So it says it's not a verified app because it's not like on the app store. The code's all attached to this sheet, so you can view it before you run it if you wanted to. Um, but yeah, you have to press code to code. Um, it tells you what it can do. So um, obviously edit the sheet, uh, connect an external service, that's OpenAI's API, and obviously it could send an email, which is what we needed to do. Um, so yeah, once that's authorized, try again. Um, send the request you should see the stuff appear and then disappear going to the gym the poems about the gym are always quite good actually there you go so you see it wrote it all and then it sends it off to me in an email and I cleared it again ready for next time um, do, do, do. So, yeah, that's it. That works. So that will work whenever you run it manually. There's a few extra steps if you want to set it up to run it each day, each morning or whatever time of day. Um, so the authorization we've done. So to run it each day, so you have to go to extensions and then app scripts. And there's just a tweak we need to make to the code. Um, so we basically need to swap it for this instead on line 41. This is so it can work from the trigger instead of being moved from the sheet itself. Um, so you see line 41, it's a similar sort of line, but we're going to swap it for the line that I just gave you. Um, and we swap the, this URL for the actual URL of the sheet. So we're going back to the sheet. Um, 
get the URL from the address bar and paste it in there. So that'll be your URL from your address bar and then press save. And then once you've done that, you can set up the trigger itself. So it says you click on the clock and that's this little guy over here, triggers. And then we add a new trigger. You can't see the button, but there's an add button there. Um, process request is the function you need to choose. And then you choose the source as being time. And then you set it as however often you want to send those emails, typically daily. I usually pick early in the morning, but whatever time you want. So it's sometime within that hour in your local, that should be your local time zone there that appears there. And press save. And that's it. So that should now automatically um, at that time each day send you um, the output in here. And then you can change the prompt if it's kind of not quite giving you the output you want. Um, that's it. I hope you find it useful. Um, let me know on Facebook or whatever if you have any questions or on the comments.